Good morning. How are you? Thank you, John. Doing okay. Got fire done? Yes, sir. Regular time as far as I know. Okay. Who's by the way? Just been up here for. I have no idea. Probably where she sat there in her corner. It hadn't been opened, had it? No, no. no. So, oh, good. Yeah. 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 It don't work that way. <laughs> well, we're on over budget on the back. <laughs> Because of the commissioners, let me see. Yeah, how did you? Well, just one of them. And it's oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Feeling better? Good morning. Thank you for being here. If you'll stand, we'll be led in a word of prayer by Commissioner Pearson. Remain standing for our pledge. Our God and our Father in heaven, we're so grateful to you for the blessings that you give to us each day. Our Father, we're, we're so grateful to you for the great nation that we live in. Our Father, but at the same time, we all should be so ashamed that our country is turning away from you. We, we call evil things good and, and we distort your word and, and, and your truths. And I pray that the United States of America will repent to you you were a, a great God. You were very instrumental in establishing this nation, and we repent of our sins. We ask that your Holy Spirit is here with us this morning as we make decisions for the great county of Panzant. We pray for your, your blessings to be on the leaders of our state and the leaders of our nation. And just like us here at this court, Father, we pray that you defeat them us and them when we're wrong and, and we give you the glory when we do something that's correct. We never bow before you that we can't thank you for our blessings of Jesus Christ. We thank you for giving him all authority in heaven and earth and we thank you for the salvation that we have through him. Through him. And it's in his name that we bow before you. Amen. 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 Through the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the deed Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Call to order the regular session meeting of the Vanjant County Commissioner's Court, Wednesday, May the 26th, 2021, at 9.02 a.m. All members of the court present, quorum is established. Item number two, discuss and consider dispensing with the reading of the minutes of the meeting of the Commissioner's Court, approval of same for May the 12th, 2021. Uh, we have no minutes before us. Uh, talking to Susan, she said, just table out. We'll, you, they'll be at the next meeting. Okay. She'll bring them at the next meeting. Motion on that. Motion. Second. Second. Item number three. Need just, you what? need a motion at the table. Okay. Second. Okay. Got a motion by Commissioner West, second by Commissioner Pearson. All in favor? of tabling item number two, say aye. Uh, they, those opposed, same sign, motion carried. Item number three, discuss and consider approval of county bills for payment as submitted. So moved, Pearson. We've got a motion by Commissioner Pearson. Second. Second by Commissioner LaPrat. Any questions or discussion about the bills? 
There being none, all in favor of approving payment of the bill, say aye. aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Item number four, discuss and consider ratifying of county bills as submitted. So moved. Got a motion by Commissioner West. Second, Pearson. Second by Commissioner Pearson. Any questions or discussion on the ratifying of county bills? Being none, all in favor, say aye. aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carried. General business, is there any general business we need to be made aware of? Any announcements? Any Anyone out there have any announcements? Yes, good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Uh, today's Carter Blood Drive. Uh, my assistant, Chloe Edwards, has done everything. That I didn't even look at anything. She's done yeah. a great job organizing this. Uh, they have confirmed that they're going to collect at least 16 pints of blood today to uh, help our community and the state of Texas. So uh, walk-ins are available if you have not signed up, and it'll be right out front. We should see that bus pulling up any minute now. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. The, uh, we are still giving COVID shots. Uh, if you want a uh, vaccine uh, at the fairgrounds out here, they're giving Pfizer and Johnson and Johnson. If you would like to have one, it's no charge. Uh, they take walk-ins as well. Just walk in, tell them I'd like to have a vaccine. They're, we're trying to get as many people vaccinated as that wants to be vaccinated. Uh, any other announcements, general business? Being none, we'll move to public comments. Uh, Scott, did anybody sign up? No one signed up for public comments. <clears throat> we'll move to item number seven. We wait and we work all year for this moment. <laughs> it's a struggle, but uh, item number seven is to discuss and consider and approve the audit report for fiscal year ended September the 30th, 2020 uh, from Portillo Brown Hill, <coughs> LLP, Waco, Texas. Uh, today we're joined with Kent Willis representing uh, <clears throat> Portillo Brown and Hill. Uh, we've worked hard to get to this point. And uh, so he's, he's going to tell us if we've done good, where we stand, where the county stands financially. Uh, Mr. Willis, you have the floor. It's kind of like the Super Bowl for accountants. It <laughs> is. Well, thank you all for having me this morning. My name is Kent Willis. I'm the manager in our government audit department at Tillow Brown Hill. Um, John Manning met with Judge Kirkpatrick and Sandy last week, I think, for about an hour and a half. He went through this information in a lot of detail, so I will spare y'all that level of detail. My, my plan is to keep it fairly brief. Uh, of course, if you have questions or an area you want to drill down into, I'm happy to do that. So stop me at any point as I'm pre uh, presenting this morning. Uh, I just wanted to start off and just say thank you guys for selecting us as your outside auditor. We have plenty of competition in Texas when it comes to other accounting firms who audit local governments. Uh, we really appreciated the relationship with Van Zandt County and hope you guys have appreciated the relationship as well. Also wanted to say thanks to Sandy and her crew and all the departments we worked with during the audit. Uh, everybody we met with was transparent and very forthcoming. And as an auditor, that makes me feel comfortable that people are willing to talk about what's going on at Van Zandt, any concerns they might have, they're, they have an open venue with us to talk about that. So we appreciate everybody's help throughout the whole process. All right, so you should have in front of you a copy of the annual financial report, which is a spiral, spiral bound document, a single audit report, which is a little bit smaller. And then there's a third document that I typically don't go through unless there's bad news. So spoiler alert, there's no bad news. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off in the annual financial report. If you wanna follow along, I'm gonna point out some page numbers. I'm gonna start on page one. Good place to start. <laughs> So page one of the annual financial report is the independent auditor's report, uh, it's typically called the opinion letter from the auditor. It's a nice summary, summary of how the audit go and what did we conclude as the auditor. Um, so as you'll see here in this letter, we have finished the audit of the county's financial statements for the year ended September 30, 2020. Now, under an audit agreement between an auditor and an auditee, we make both sides make some agreements. Uh, the auditee or the county agreed to accept responsibility for the financials that are in this document. 
And the reason I point that out is we do actually assist in drafting these financials for the county. It's very normal for local governments in Texas, but ultimately the county has accepted responsibility for the financials that are here. So it's just something we like to point out. Now we had responsibilities under the audit engagement as well. We had to perform the audit, of course, and then issue opinions on the financial statements that you see in this document today. So if you're familiar with how the audit works, or you may not be, it's a four week process roughly, what we call field work. And during those four weeks, we have an audit senior, an audit staff, and then a manager and a partner dedicated to working on Van Bank County's audit. And so during that four weeks, as Sandy can probably attest, there are lots of annoying questions and requests for documents, invoices, general ledger. And we were digging into the details. And the goal at the end of the process is to make sure that the numbers you see in this document are materially correct. And you'll see that term used in here, materially correct. And so I like to kind of describe what that means uh, when I'm talking in front of the commissioner's court. Materially correct doesn't mean perfect. Um, if we were going for a perfect set of financial statements down to the penny, we'd be here all year round probably. And I think Sandy would get a little tired of us <laughs> at that point. Materially correct means to me that if you guys can use this information, that the taxpayers can use this information and make accurate decisions because it's accurate enough to make the decisions that are necessary. So it's not perfect, but pretty darn close is what materially correct means. And so after all the, uh, the blood, the sweat and the tears of the audit process, you'll find on the top of page two, we were able to issue what's called an unmodified opinion, which is a fancy term for a clean opinion. And that's literally the highest level of assurance that we can provide on a set of financial statements. So really as good as it gets when it comes to an audit of financials, unmodified opinion, that's what Van Van County got this year. So really happy to be able to report the clean opinion. I imagine you expect to hear that from me, but it's probably nice to hear from a third party that things are looking good here at Van San County. So, that's a testament, I think, to you guys for hiring and retaining some great people. Uh, your county auditor does a fantastic job. I think we had, I can count on one hand, the number of adjustments we recommended, most of them very small. And then most of them are kind of a courtesy as a part of drafting the financials. Not all of our clients are that way. We have clients where we have dozens and dozens of entries sometimes. But that's not the way it is here at Van Zandt. It makes our job easy. And I think it can make you guys rest assured that the information you're getting throughout the year is in good shape as well. So congrats on the clean opinion and not just the county auditor, all the departments we work with, uh, they all contribute to making sure this document is accurate and that you get that clean opinion. So excited to be able to announce that today. Before I turn my attention to the next piece, do I have any questions on the opinion letter or results of the audit? Okay. I did want to point out, uh, take a look at the general fund fund balance. If you want to follow me to page 14. Page 14 and 15, which you see on these two pages are what we call the major funds of the county. That's purely because they are uh, either important or large. And they, they show up on these two pages. So I wanted to hone in on the, the first column of page 14, which is the general fund. And this is the income statement. So we're looking at how the general fund do during FY20. Uh, so if you look at the third from the bottom row, you have net change in fund balance of about $3 million. So a good increase in the general fund fund balance, leaving you with $6.5 million at the end of the fiscal year. And the question of how much fund balance should we have, we have too much, we have too little, that always comes up during an audit. And to put that into perspective, you guys have a little bit over six months, I think six and a half months of fund balance. I mean, you could survive that long on fund balance alone if you need it. Now, I think the bare minimum recommendation for fund balance at a county is about three months. So I definitely don't like it when my counties are at the bare minimum. You don't want to be at the bare minimum. Now, how much should you have is a complicated conversation. Uh, it depends on what the needs are of the county. But sitting at 6.5 months of fund balance is a great place to be. And I uh, wouldn't recommend going back down to where you were last year, which was about 3.3 months. I think 6.5 months is a great place to be. I understand you guys are planning to pay off some debt early in the next couple of years, next year. So if you're planning to not have a lot of debt and you want to have a cushion down there for unplanned capital, if your true HVAC system falls apart all of a sudden, you got to have a cushion down there for stuff like that. So I think y'all are in a good place with fund balance in the general fund. Any thoughts or questions on fund balance before I move on? No, that's a that's a battle that, that you fight as a county judge is you have to have a healthy fund balance. Yes, sir. Uh, 
you're not overtaxed, you're not overtaxing the citizens, but you have to have it for an emergency. Definitely. But the difficult part is uh, department head saying, what well, do you mean I can't have something? You have this much money, but that money is set aside to, to remain there in the fund. Exactly Correct? Right. That's right. Okay. I mean, you look a few years back, uh, you guys had a pretty low fund balance. Uh, it took some years to build that back up. You can spend it quick, uh, but to build it back up takes years. So it was in the negatives, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a negative fund balance. So we're in, we all are in good shape, and I, I think you're in a good place, and I would recommend staying there. Um, but we could always go in and talk about it and have just conversations about where you need to be. We can certainly do that. So we're open to talking about it. Give us a call. But again, <clears throat> we're not a bank. Right. We don't, you know, we budget for what we need. Correct. And then we have a, an existing fund balance uh, to cover what emergencies we need. But we can't be a bank and hold the citizens' tax, tax money. I agree with that too. I do. But the main reason we need a, uh, a decent fund balance is come October, November, and December, uh, we're spending more money than what we're taking in on taxes because people don't pay it. So you got to have something to fund it. But what was happening was the road and bridge, they were borrowing our money to run the county. But that doesn't happen now. That's a good point. This is a snapshot at September 30th. some stories on that. Yeah. <laughs> this is a snapshot at September 30th, so you're right. I mean, you might want to look at fund balance over the year and how does it track? Because uh, you got to make cash flow throughout the year. That's important. If there are no other comments or questions on the annual financial report, what I would want to do is turn next to the single audit report, which is a little skinny thing, and then I'll close out for the day. Get you guys back to your agenda. So the single audit report, if you'll take a look at page five, this will try and put this into context. This separate document here is not necessarily something you have every year. Uh, what we're looking at on page five of this document is a listing of all the federal grant awards that the county received and then how much was spent under each of those during FY20. So there's eight or nine grants here. And the dollar amounts you see are how much was spent during FY20. So that grand total of 1.3 million, anytime that exceeds $750,000, as an outside auditor, we're required to do more work. We're required to pick one or more of these grants and we have to dig down into the details and make sure, did you follow the rules set forth by the federal government, federal agency who passed the money to you? Obviously these federal dollars don't come without strings attached. You don't get to just do whatever you want with them when they send them to you. So our job is to pick one or more of these programs, drill down into the details. Did you spend the money on the right things? Did you follow all the rules that were set forth by the federal agencies? They kind of farm out their work to, to the outside auditor. So this year uh, we tested the coronavirus relief fund. You'll see it kind of middle of the page, the million $51,000 of expenditures. Uh, and we did just that. We dug into the details. Did you spend it on coronavirus relief, on reacting to the pandemic and following the rules that the uh, US Treasury set forth? Uh, we're required to issue <coughs> an opinion on that uh, after doing all the work on the single audit. And again, in this area, we were able to again issue an unmodified opinion on, on this particular grant, which is again, as good as it gets. Um, when it comes to the opinion letter I talked about at the beginning of my presentation, most of our clients get a clean opinion. Um, when it comes to the single audit stuff, we have we do have findings. We have places where someone messed up and, and bought the wrong thing or, or didn't follow one of the rules of the grant. It's kind of, the rules are complicated. So the fact that y'all have a clean opinion and no findings on this coronavirus relief funding, which didn't exist 15 months ago, the brand new program, brand new rules, it's, it's, a, it's a testament to your uh, your county employees involved in that process. So really proud to be able to give you all a clean opinion and no findings on this brand new program that you spent a million bucks on during the FY20. So these are the kind of meetings I love. I mean, great news, great <laughs> clean opinion and no findings, like this as good as it gets, so. Well, when you said the, 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 all the regulations were a little difficult, that's an understatement. Absolutely. I'm sure I mean, you can't you don't that. say all the requirements the government says, oh, you can have this money. If you jump through these 1,500 hoops. That's free money, right? Free money. <laughs> and if you mess up anywhere, you're going to pay us back. Absolutely. Well, and you might get dinged in your audit too. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, tough. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, that, that, that is. But we watch it. And it, these, this is a good group of guys. Our departments have all worked together. Uh, speaking with John Manning the other day, Sandy and I, when we met, 
He said, we don't have one, one department in Benzac County that's over budget. That's absolutely right. And that, 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 I mean, it just goes back to the leaders of these departments and department heads and stuff. And, uh, and we hold them accountable. You know what? <laughs> uh, it's taxpayer money. That's right. And I think you, any questions for Kent? No. Any other questions? Good job. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Well, thank the you. Thank you. I to think, uh, <laughs> and we, we, the last two years, we, we, uh, uh, they haven't been here. We send it. They, and we have our meetings virtual and uh, everything. We love it. Oh, good. Uh, we, we really enjoyed it. I thought it was a smooth. And thank you for your job. Sure. Thank you for what you guys do and, and for the, the audit. Great. You're very welcome. And thanks for letting me chat for a few minutes. If y'all ever have questions, we're available. So give us a call. We'll be happy to chat. Any questions? And let me, before you, before you step down, is there any questions from anyone here? So I wish yeah, the commissioners had asked him this. Uh, let me just open him up to <laughs> anyone here. Uh, I know the, the sheriff's department. Yes. I have a question. Is the amount of funds that you see federally coming into the county typical for the size? Because you said, I think I wrote down eight or nine that you have the ability to look at. About a million three, it looks like. Okay. I think so. I mean, for a rural Texas county, yes, I'd say it's free. I mean, I mean, there, there may be more dollars that are out there, but as you mentioned, it's not free. It takes a lot of work. And, but yes, I would say you're right around other counties your size in Texas. Any other questions for Kent? We put him at the first of the meetings and you don't have to stay through the rest of it. He, uh, he drove in from Waco this morning and he'll be heading back. I don't back to, back to Waco, back to work, I guess. <laughs> yeah. so, thank you, Kent. Thank you so much. Great job. Thank you. thank you. Is there a motion to approve the audit? So moved. We got a motion by Commissioner West. Is there a second? Second. Pearson. Second by Commissioner Pearson. Any questions or discussion? Being none, all in favor, say aye. aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Thank you. <clears throat> Item number eight, discuss and consider extending John Whitting's contract with Vincent County as designated represented as other needed. Uh, Sam, did you want to address the court on that or they have the, uh, we did, for, I did provide the commissioners and everyone, the letter that you are the email you sent me uh, stating that you think it would be. So, uh, back when I took this position, uh, we, there, there was not a, or when actually when Fire Marshal Wilson retired, we did not have a designated representative who is a person who inspects the OSSF or Vantech County. Um, based on, since I, since I have uh, taken this position in January, uh, we've about averaged about 40 to 45 systems going in a month. Um, we've also had a very wet season, according to talking to uh, other DRs and other surrounding counties. Right? We have a file cabinet full of approved systems to go in that what uh, it, it's going to be as soon as the ground starts to dry up and these installers can start to get these systems in the ground, we're going to have a lot going in. Uh, I've recently gotten my license and everything to do the, to actually be the DR, to be a second DR. John is willing to even take, uh, having, uh, not being the only one doing it, he's willing to take that pay and cut it in half uh, to continue to help Vantech County. But I feel that uh, <clears throat> as anything, after passing the class and everything, I, I had the general basis of it, but I would, but I would, uh, I would ask for uh, his extension also as a learning process for me because I'm still learning how to do this. I want to be able to do it the best way possible. And uh, with his time doing it, it's, uh, you know, he's just able to show me a lot of things. And it's not just what the class showed me, but you know, making sure that we're taking best care of the citizens of Vanneck County and making sure that we're getting those systems put in the ground. I would ask that we extend it, you know, another 12 weeks. I think by the end of that, we should be good. John has said that he will continue even after that 12 weeks is up. If, need be at times over the years we can uh, you know work through a through an inter county deal if I need to go over there and sign if he's out or if he needs to come over here he'd be more willing to do that as well. Okay. Any questions for Sam? No I I think 
<laughs> Sam, I think you're doing a great job down there. And I know it's a big learning curve. It is. And, uh, but, and I think John would be a, a great help for you. He, he, he's been a great help. He's been a great, uh, we did talk to the uh, TCEQ rep who oversees Vantech County. Um, he happened to be down doing an audit actually of Brains County. Um, he was very, uh, he actually told us that because I ended up talking to John on the phone that day, and he was very impressed the fact that we were working together and that, you know, through the learning curve and everything, because he, because like he said, there's a lot of rules and everything that are new. And so uh, he, he just made the, the remark that he was impressed that we were working together as well as we are. So, anybody got any questions? So, extended Cindy is a money, the uh, money's okay, right? For him now, okay. So, here's the deal is, I don't mean, I don't remember what we're That's yeah, about. Yeah, whatever it is. And, uh, I did not read that the minutes say 1875. And so it'd be half of that, right? Yeah, he's willing to cut it in half. Then he have to sign every application. And 37. Yeah. I make that note. Okay. So the weeks and so 12 weeks. Yeah, nine. What you? you nine, have, nine thirty-seven. Nine thirty. Fifty. Yeah. But I'm just in my head. Nine forty. Yeah. Nine forty. Yeah. His okay. motion. Okay. Okay. Commissioner West made motion to extend uh, John Whitting's contract with Van Zandt County for an additional twelve weeks, uh, and and with salary of nine forty. Is that per month? Yes. Per month. Okay, 940 per month. Second by Commissioner Pearson. Thank you, Virgil. Yes. Second by yes. Commissioner Melton. Any questions or discussion? I've, I've got a comment. Sam, we're going to, in this next 12 weeks, uh, I believe that Van Zandt County will have a fire marshal. So we're going to have to coordinate the vehicle. Uh, so when John comes over, We've got a vehicle out there, but we need to make sure that uh, the fire marshal doesn't have it being using it or in, anyway. That'll take some that'll take some effort on your part. Yes, sir. It should be a problem. Okay. Any other questions or discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Uh -huh. uh, those opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Be sure and let John know we appreciate what he does for us. Yeah. Item number nine, discuss and consider approve a county treasurer to apply for the American Rescue Plan allocation. They, uh, uh, Sandy and I were uh, visiting on this. We believe it, <coughs> we would just be better. This is some of that money you just talked, we was just spoken about. This here is about real close to 11 million for Van Zandt County. And, uh, <coughs> We don't even have the guidelines of how you can't. Well, we just got a little clarification this morning before we walked into this meeting, but up to then, they said, you're going to get all this money. Well, how can you spend it? Because if you mess up and you make a mistake, you're going to get to pay it back. And you won't, I mean, you you want to be careful. And we are, we've set it aside and everything. <clears throat> but uh, we did feel like we did need approval of the commissioner's court to apply for the for this money. So move, Pearson. Got a motion by Commissioner Pearson, second by uh, Commissioner LaPrade. Uh, any questions or discussion? For me, Sandy, yes. Kenny. Sandy, when, when do you think that we might get an idea of what we can use it for? Uh, I put some paperwork with the polls this morning that's a guideline for a NATO. Yeah. Any roads and bridges in there? No. No, no fault of it. Oh, yeah. Uh, matter of fact, I pointed out to Commissioner West that actually states cannot be spent on county roads. Uh, 
Yeah. I know this weather has uh, really affected dogs. Um, yeah. This money has to be spent for the system to make. Yeah. And what? And Sandy has created a uh, folder uh, for because you've already you've already got nonprofit organizations uh, requested funded of that money and everything. So we're keeping a file of that and everything. But until we get more guidance, but we felt like to begin the process, we would like to have the commissioner's court uh, vote on it, applying for the money. You know, it's a lot of money, and the way this particular grant works is you spend your money on what you think is approved, and you send it in, and if they approve it, then you've got the money. If they don't approve it, then you end up holding the bag and paying for it yourself. So, yeah, that's, that's not the judge and I visited with John Haynes during our audit review, and he suggested that the court. We plan a daily signature that will do that nature of our county attorney. They can research it and, you know, I myself, I would like to have letters from someone saying, you know, this is a legitimate thing. Yeah, yeah, because it's a kind of a kind of a catch 22. It is. It could very well benefit your citizens, but if we're not careful, it very well could hurt the citizens, and you don't want to hurt them. And, uh, I mean, because of letter. Yeah, because the roads, I, I thought because it was for infrastructure, I thought you would be able to spend money on it, but uh, it, it, it says they have a different term of interest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Judge, I'd like to make a comment on that. Though, okay. It, it, it may change, it could. But, but I would like for everyone to be, uh, understand and everyone listening on YouTube that uh, so far, Van Zandt County has not received any federal funds. Uh, unless you go back to the disaster that you had uh, from the floods back in 16, uh, that could be spent on roads. Uh, I, I've had a citizen tell me that we have we received funds that could be spent on roads and we didn't spend it on roads. So <laughs> we, have, we have received no funds that we could legally spend on roads, uh, yeah. any federal funds. And so let me add to that. Uh, uh, you know, some of us, uh, all of us have applied for some funds to do this ice storm and, and it's freezing up our county roads and tracking our uh, county roads up, but we have not received any money towards that at all. That, that ha hasn't even been approved yet. That storm is a public health. It's not a code category C. Category C, right. It has not been declared. That's where the roads and bridges are. Yes. <coughs> yeah. 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 We will not be going through this on the market management this time. It will be cautious. Yeah. So they will. Now these are federal funds bypassing the state. Yes. They're coming to the, yeah. Well, it's going to all be new for all of us. Any other questions or discussion? Okay, we do have a motion and a second to apply for the American Rescue Plan allocation. All in favor say aye. Uh, those opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Item number 10, discuss and consider approval of credit card uh, policy. Kenny, you want to address the court? Yes, this, this is on the agenda. Uh, part of our bill is I want to take it off and pay for it, bring it back and give them a chance to look at it. So I have looked at it, just wanted to update it. Uh, running with the, me and Sandy both want to look through it. As a matter of fact, we just want to change some of the wording at it. And we just want to change some of the wording at it. And we can update it to where I think it's probably a little more clear than what it used to be. There's some things to change. But we just want to 
we'll make sure we read on the other note and not give over any guys. Copy of it to look at it. What do you kind of look at it? Is there any place that something you need to change? It's pretty much like it was, but just we, we changed on the wording. So thank you. It's not out there. Okay, any questions for Kenny? So you want us to table it? No. No, sir, I'm sorry. We tabled it before. Okay. It was on here about a month ago. Okay. And I want to look at it closer. Yeah, he's put, he's wanting us to approve this credit card policy. Is there a motion? So moved. Got a uh, motion by Commissioner Pearson. Is there a second? Second. Got a second by Commissioner LaPred. Any questions or discussion about the credit card policy? Being none, all in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item number 11, discuss and consider approval of fuel credit card policy. <laughs> Make sure it's up to date. Or again, I, I let the uh, seal look through it also. This is kind of what we're going to for us to change. Report being updated. That is your approval. Updated fuel car policy. Okay. Any questions for Kenny? Being none, all in favor of approving the. Uh, Oh, probably do good. Get a motion. Is there a motion to approve the uh, fuel credit card policy? So moved. Got a motion by Commissioner Melton. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner West. Any questions, discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Item number 12 discuss and consider approval of bonds for Irma Hayes and April. <laughs> April Kaywater uh, of the treasurer's office in the amount of five thousand each, a uh, five thousand dollar bond for each each one of those. Yeah. So moved. Got a motion by Commissioner Pearson. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Melton. Any questions? Discussion. Being none, all in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Item number 13, discuss and consider approval of bond renewal for Sandy Hill of Vanjack County Auditor in the amount of $5,000. So moved. Got a motion by Commissioner West. Second. Second. Oh, got about <coughs> three, three seconds. <laughs> uh, second by Commissioner Pearson. Uh, any questions or discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, same sign. A motion carried. Item number 14, discuss and consider awarding of the rock and bridge material bids for undelivered crushed rock and crude oil for the contract period of May the 1st, 2021 through April the 30th, 2022. Mark, Mr. Judge, Mark, uh, this was two items in our Okay, we got a motion by Commissioner Pearson, second by Commissioner LeBrad. Any questions or discussion? I, I, I'd, like to make a quick, oh, I'd like to make a comment and, and thank the auditor's office. The confusion on, I know the Arcosa bit, uh, why we didn't get it back, is they're still working remotely, uh, Sandy. And I didn't want anybody to think that our auditor's office didn't do what they were supposed to do on getting a bit to them. Even we nearly lost the second one because we sent it certified mail and there's nobody at our closest corporate offices uh, to accept 
and to get it out to who it needed to go to. So we finally got it all worked out, and I believe that was the same case in, in Basin. So thank you. Uh, uh, thank, thank you all very much, and, and I apologize that all this threw more work on your office. Uh, 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 Basin stayed the same as last year. Our coastal bid went up just a little bit. $10 or something last year. Okay. Uh, Sandy, my question was, what if we sent these out and we didn't get a bid back? What, what do we go, where do we go buy stuff? I don't have an answer for you on that. I haven't spoken to Cove. Okay. okay. I mean, that could have happened. Go back and re -bid. Okay. Uh, go back and re -bid. Okay. We never really get in that situation. Well, hey, these are weird times. <laughs> you know, we might have to hand carry some of this stuff next year. Just yeah. make sure they get it because you know they want to be it. Yes, sir. Yeah. And our coastal one of the bid. We, we, we talked about doing the certified items that uh, cost the expense of taxpayer spending and county costs and that stuff. We mail out probably a Any other questions, discussion for Sandy? Just want to say thank you for your assistance, ma'am. Congratulations <laughs> on that great audit report. Leo. So we have a motion, a second. Any other discussion? Being none, uh, all in favor of approving the road and, uh, road and bridge material bids, say aye. Uh, Those opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Item number 15, discuss and consider approving the advanced funding agreement for the federal uh, off system bridge programmed replacement of bridge on Van Dyke County Road 2112 at Caney Creek. Virgil, I believe that's yours. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Mr. Judge, this is a, a grant that I'm working with the Texas Department of Transportation through the federal off system bridge program to replace that bridge. <clears throat> on County Road 2112 at Caney Creek. Uh, we, I do have to make a match. Uh, Benjamin County has to match uh, matching funds to uh, initiate this grant. And so I have pledged that uh, $47,000 in match funds to match, match this grant. I, I'm, I promise to uh, replace a bridge <coughs> car on 2908. <clears throat> Replace a crossroad covered on 2602, replace a crossroad covered on 2307 to meet meet the match. So uh, I, I make a motion that, that we approve this uh, advanced funding agreement. Okay, got a motion by Commissioner Melton. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner West. Any questions or discussion? Judge, I'd just like to make one, one uh, comment. Uh, this year, uh, through this off bridge system program, I'm replacing four bridges in Precinct 2 at a savings to the taxpayer of about $1.7 million. So these grants work. Uh, that's, 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 yeah. Okay. We have a motion to second. All in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Item number 16, discuss and consider approving the request of, for waiver of local matching funds regarding the funding agreement for replacement of bridge on Van Zandt County Road 2112 at Caney Creek. Yeah, Judge and Commissioner, this is just a separate item. Uh, it's a waiver of local match funds. And, and I've already uh, got the match funds that we uh, are dedicating. So I make a motion that we do approve this waiver. This waiver. Okay. Got a motion by Commissioner Melton to approve second. the waiver. Got a second by Commissioner Pearson. Any questions or discussion? 
Being none, all in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Item number 17, discuss and consider road and bridge precinct for purchasing a John Deere tractor. Uh, this is a tractor for our mowing. Uh, we have the, the mower, but our tractor is about done. So we need a new, new tractor. Uh, it'll be a uh, John Deere. We went out to be it, so it was the best, best price around. And uh, we will pay, pay for it. It won't be uh, finance. Okay. So is that a motion? Yes, sir. Okay, have a motion by Mr. West to purchase, allow priest, a road and bridge precinct four to purchase John Deere tractors or a second? Second. Second by Commissioner LaPrade. Any questions or discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Item number 18, discuss and consider approving a White number 941 addition uh, plat located in precinct three. Yes, sir. This is uh, been turned in uh, for the county to approve. I've looked at it, everything <clears throat> meets our, our, our specification. I make a motion with itself. Okay, I got a motion by Commissioner Pearson. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Melton. Any questions or discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Item number 19, discuss and consider approving the Faulkner Estates plat in precinct three. It's the same thing, judges, another subdivision going in precinct three. It meets all the requirements. Okay. Motion to approve. Okay, got a motion by Commissioner Pearson. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner West. Any questions or discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Item number tw uh, 20, discuss and consider approval of fiscal year 2021 budget amendments. You have the budget amendments before you. Is there any questions about the budget amendments? Discussion. Like make sure on the, the one on precinct three on the donation that you pick up the one at sixteen thousand five hundred, not six thousand five hundred. Just a quick answer, Mike. Yes, please. Okay. Is there a motion to approve the budget amendments? So moved, Pearson. Got a motion by Commissioner Pearson. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner LaPred. Any questions or discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, aye. same sign. Motion carried. Item number 21, discuss and consider approval of April 2021 fiscal uh, financial and in Investment report of county treasurer to be entered into the minutes of the commissioner's court. So moved. Got a motion by Commissioner Melton. Second, Pearson. Second by Commissioner Pearson. Any questions or discussion about the report? Being none, all in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Item number 22 discuss and consider monthly reports submitted by various offices and departments of county government and approval entry of same in the court's minutes as a matter of record. Mr. West, you have any comment down uh, there? I do. Uh, <laughs> until we walked in here earlier, we were missing one, but I understand it, it's on its way, so it may be there when I get back in. Okay. <laughs> but all the rest of them here. Okay, is that a motion to approve the monthly yes. reports? Okay, yes. got a motion by Commissioner West. Is there a second? Second. Got a second by Commissioner Melton. Any questions or discussion about the reports? Being none, all in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. We will now enter into a closed executive session. I would ask that everyone be excused except the ones that's going to need to be here, which would be Dan, 
Okay. Dan, uh, who else do we need? 